Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly advise you to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live with a real money. Trading is not an easy business. We're going to be covering three different types of an auto trade. First, we're going to start with the signal automated trading. And then we're going to go with the TI-7, and then we're going to cover the latest auto trade uh, we have developed. Uh, first of all, here uh, is the swing trading. On the left upper corner, this is the market analyzer. On the Based on the last entry signal, we have 533 ticks into the profit based on one contract. We had an entry on the ES. 3693.25 target 3704.25 this is one contract one lot 36 takes a ym 30068 target 301468 69 takes on and on and on so as we see here right now uh, the es is about to hit the target right there on the chart and then it is target hit as you see here on the DAX target hit 36 takes based on one contract for a guy don't have enough uh, experience neither money uh, don't have to trade all of it he can trade ES YM and NASDAQ so somewhere around five thousand dollar account should do it and you can also trade a micro account if you want to for a lot less money depends on the broker and how much risk you want to take this is the scalper also automated scalping based on a 15 second and uh, we just turn around on the trades and uh, right now 20 takes 50 takes 42 takes a new count, uh, entry right now on the cl uh, the dax is out uh, gold and russell and 30-year treasury bond but also you can use the scalper on a micro account or one contract es nasdaq and ym this is a two different time frame as you see automated scalping on 15 second and this one here is based on one minute so this is the first automated trade and this one here is a click on and off so right now we're gonna go to the ti7 uh, this is the ti7 we still have a lot of open trades they're almost there but they're not quite ready yet and um, uh, let's look at the es two minutes and three minutes on the previous trade was 512 and uh, on this one here uh, we we're just six hundred dollars into that trade what we use we use minutes and you can scalp from one market one lot to four or five trades or you can use uh, a micro account so it is very important for that person when is using an auto trade have to understand the risk in the market how much he can afford a day to risk because anything with a trading is risk if you have five thousand dollars does not mean you put your five thousand dollars online every day especially if you don't have an experience so it is very important to understand the risk reward on a daily basis and uh, every trader should understand that no matter how experienced you are or how long you've been around the market you're gonna have losing days and uh, that uh, a new beginners are very hard to get related that there is a risk and if like today the market was not really moving the, the 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 performance will drop you know and um, it's not a, just a push button you have to understand how to manage an auto trade when to start an auto trade when to stop an auto trade how to manage the auto trade and how much risk 
on the TI-7, you can, as we see here from the Russell, you can take one contract and the Russell, if it's a moving, the daily target is 1,000, we got 1,800. If you are using two contract here, you're going to have 1,200 on the Russell, three minutes, and uh, this is it. You can color the background of the chart so you can not understand which one is uh, belong to which account if you have more than one account. An ES is scalping. The TI-7, you can swing trade it and you can scalp it and which we provide enough training to understand the difference between a scalping and a swing trading and what you want to do with it, you know. So from now till New Year Eve, I strongly recommend scalping. And after New Year Eve, we go back to the swing trading. Here on the YM is more like a, a swing trading and it is beautiful lately, the YM, the way it moves on the three minutes and knelt 1400. Uh, the Nasdaq one minute, 1400. Uh, Russell three minutes, 1200. Uh, YM five minutes. Some, as you see, they are based on one contract, some on two contracts, some on, on four contracts. But we only use from one to five minutes. I have something very interesting to show you once we are done with this one here. Nasdaq two minute is almost exactly like the one minute, 1440 and 1410 and uh, this is what I would like to show you uh, once we are done with this uh, the Russell two, uh, two minutes uh, Nasdaq three minutes and uh, the DAX one minute 1800 uh, we only have two charts for the DAX the one minute and the four minutes that's it uh, YM 1300 and uh, this is uh, uh, the Russell. Uh, as you notice here, this is not uh, the TI-7 on the right, on the left upper corner. This is the scalping. We, this is the new auto trade actually. And this is the same chart we have showed you uh, day before yesterday, the same chart exactly the same time frame and we told you we're only using those here on the the Russell two minutes we are using the Nasdaq the Nasdaq we've been using the 530 takes it does not take that much trade but we normally are done around 9 10 o'clock if you start around 8 o'clock you are done by uh, 9 9 30 and it is done and over most of the time we notice on the 530 takes it is uh, one or two trades and then it's finished uh, we only have this uh, one chart 530 takes to show that you can use it on take charts you can use it on a range bar ranko bar but uh, i like to show only the minutes uh, because uh, the minute have consistency and uh, the ym uh, eight, uh, 870, 70, 775, uh, those are on the scalping mood, and uh, 560. Now, this is something I want to show you today uh, on the, uh, the new automated trade. Uh, we have tested, we've been working on it for many months. Let me pull out the charts. This is the new system and uh, we build it uh, for the new beginners actually but it does not mean it is uh, a crystal ball no it is also uh, required to understand a little bit the market it is a very friendly use and uh, i want to show you what we're looking at right now on here you can see the CL one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. ES one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. NASDAQ one minute, two minutes, three, four, five. YM one, two, three, four, five. And Russell one, two, three, four, five. This is our final test we are doing on uh, this new automated trade. 
this is very uh, interesting, especially for the uh, new traders. Uh, without a doubt, without a doubt, that auto trade is a success consistency. I don't know how much it will make tomorrow, but there is a consistency. And it does not require a lot of optimization like uh, the TI7 or tweaking. It does not. Like this one here, you can auto trade it, uh, scalp it, swing trade it, one contract, two contract. The same thing here, you can put as many contracts as you want. You can trade it on the micro account, but this is not what I want to show really. Uh, all of them here on the charts, they are the, uh, on a $500 target. Why $500? Why not $1,000? As we know today, because of the date, 16th of December, we still have a split up in the volume with the CL because today we started on the new CL. But I know there is a lot of traders, uh, they stay till the end of the week on the old CL before they roll over to the new contract. So always when the market is split between the older contract and the newer contract, you're always... Uh, there, there is a little less movement because the volume is a split and a half plus right now we have going towards the Christmas where already the volume is uh, very thin in the market and uh, that's why uh, we hold our uh, life at you uh, till uh, next year because I don't want to encourage anyone to take a trade when the market most of the time not, not moving but this is a very serious one we kept this uh, management that if the market go into your direction you're gonna get more than seven uh, five hundred dollars if we take the es which most of you are related to the es on the one minute is 525 on uh, two minutes is uh, 875 is 1000 on the three minutes 675 on the four minutes and 1050 on the five minutes so why not you put 1000 in there and this is an example uh, of the CL today one of them uh, closed you should see the good and the bad not only the good on the one minute today, it did go south and close with losses. Because of the CL, uh, is a, the, a new day on the CL. As we see here, the CL has been going in the circle. One win and trade, one lose and trade. One win and trade, one lose and trade. So can we put the, the, uh, the auto trade on one thousand dollar a day yes you can but on a day when the market is not moving when your auto trade get up to 500 and then he has a losing trade it's gonna go down to 200 and now it's gonna go up to six seven hundred then if the market is a start getting chops you're gonna drop to two three hundred and then you are going in the circle so by this is the biggest mistake by higher your target does not mean you will achieve your target by switching from $500 a day to $1,000 a day does not mean you're going to achieve the $1,000 a day. I don't know tomorrow if you're going to achieve $500 or $1,000. And this is the biggest question they ask. How much you think I'll make tomorrow? I have no idea. No one knows. How much you will be making tomorrow is depends on the market movement it's not the auto trade they keep insisting on the auto trade if the market not moving your auto trade does not matter where it is coming from some they are disaster doesn't matter how the the market moves some of them they're not they are consistent the only thing what we need to look in an auto trade consistency 
because there is no auto trade is going to survive a chop market. Some there will be disaster, some of them there will be less disaster. Some people have minimum losses in a chop market or in a flat market. Some of them they can whack your whole account. So uh, a mechanical trading in conjunction with our brain, a little whatever left in my brain. I don't want to talk about anybody's brain. I want to say whatever left in my brain and a little knowledge of the market auto trading is very healthy zero knowledge in the market you are a time to hit disaster even when you are auto trading and the reason i'm showing today uh, this setup here because without any question that auto trade is very consistent now if we look on the russell 540 2 minutes, 6.90, 7.15, 7 and then the 5 minutes didn't make it today, it did go south. Does it mean the auto trade is not good enough? No, because the 5 minutes movement on that chart did not fit with that type of an auto trading, where if we go back to the TI7, we have overwhelming targets hit the TI uh, the Russell on the TI7 and made over fourteen and fifteen hundred dollars. If you go back with the video, we have a plenty of charts on the TI7 hit the Russell, but on that kind of algorithm, it did not fit today with the five minutes. It does not mean it's not gonna hit tomorrow the five minutes. It could be tomorrow the one minute, or it could be the three minutes. It's not going to make it tomorrow. The situation is understand when your auto trade is struggling in a certain time frame and try to approach it and change it. So you cannot just close your eye and, and turn on your auto trade without looking at it. You have to look at it to make sure uh, that your strategy is not struggling a strategy for today and this is all depends on the market movement this is very serious i want to show you something uh, today to the aggressive traders this is uh, an example You know, I want to show two examples here. Look at this at, at this uh, setup here. The only market did not make it today is the CL on the scalping, on the new scalping system. Let me show you another setup. This is based on two minutes but without a daily profit. This is the CL, this is the CL, the two minutes. Look at this. This is very interesting. Today we were above $12,000 on this one here. The two minutes market order. And this is those, the trades. And today we were above $12,000 then the Nasdaq start get uh, get in into trouble and clean up all the profit on the Nasdaq for today this is this is very important for a guy auto trading understand why he cannot trade 24/7 this is really serious if we look at the Nasdaq series here, when they hit the 500, we have the three minute didn't make it. We have the three minutes did not make it. Another things I like to highlight here. So the guy is running the auto trade all day long. He's down in the hole $340. And the guy set to $500, the probability he's gonna have it. Because I just had a discussion with a gentleman thinking he can trade 24 7. 
he can if he knows what he's doing. So another thing I want to highlight here about the details of auto trading, we're not trying to be salesmen here. We wanted to talk about auto trading. It's not just how much each chart makes. Today, this chart make money, tomorrow might not. We need to understand how to run an auto trade. Another factor here on this one here, there is a $7,000 profit. If we look at the CL, it did go south royally because there is no limitation on the, on, on the uh, there is no daily target. It was up to $800 and then lost it all. And uh, the CL was not moving today, absolutely was not moving. Which on the TI-7, we had plenty movement on the CL because it's a different auto trade, different algorithm. I want to show you uh, also what we have made. This is your five minutes. And we are using uh, there is one filter in the system. We are using one filter, and uh, uh, the five minutes. I like the five minutes in the scalping for the guy. Does not want to tweak the the scalper. There is not much to tweak anyway. You just set up uh, the stop loss and keep going. And if you don't want it to set up the stop loss, he can put it on zero. But this is not what. This one here, the ES today was above fourteen hundred dollars, and right now it is a closing market three fifty eight, and he lost the ground on the last two hours. We were above seven thousand dollars in here, and now we dropped. We lost in here, and uh, we lost also ground on the Russell, and we kept holding on the YM and the CL it still is on the 4,000. So what I'm trying to say is uh, uh, it is very healthy to not saying you need to have a thousand dollar a day or a $500. The $500 is more realistic. Once you hit your target, you can reload the chart for one more round. You can do that. If you see the market, sometimes it hit after two trades and uh, the market fit in with your auto trade, which is knowledgeable, then you can go for one another 500. It's much better than to go ahead and set up your target every day uh, on a $1,000. Uh, then your auto trade is working harder. But sometimes you get up in the morning, couple of trades, and you can get up to uh, five, six, seven hundred dollars. And if you see this market moving, you can go for another round for five hundred dollars target. It's much better than to have a thousand dollar a day and let the auto trade go in a circle. And with your luck, the market is not moving like today. It's hardly moving. So this is. How to explain this? We did our job on that auto trade for the amateur trading and an and experienced trader, but does not mean you can drive the auto trade blindfold because you're gonna rack it. There is nothing in the system or any system out there. You turn on an auto trade and you you are blindfolded and you're gonna be making money. There is no such a thing that. Uh, Anyone is a blindfolded with his eyes closed can make money in any kind of business. So this is a, a mystery or a dreamer to some people that turn on the auto trade and and uh, living happily after. This is a wrong message to the traders. We did our job, very friendly use. You can turn on the five minutes the second day and let it run and you can take your chances. You don't have to do anything. But what I'm trying to send a message that 
like now those two example here we were above 12,000 and the last two hours we lost a lot because of the market movement so for those guys the message that can I turn on the auto trade 24 7 no you cannot turn any auto trade I don't care what everybody tell you he's full of banana and I challenge anyone can do that there is one example you can do that if you wanted to like what we showed you on the uh, the scalper the same system on the 530 takes at the higher time frame it does not take a lot of trades and it takes one or two trade to get it over with the 530 takes clean a lot of noises in the market then you can do it on a 24 7 but when you are dealing with one minute two minutes three minutes four minutes five minutes it is a very smart to have a reasonable daily target and get it over with because this is like any other day we were above 12,000 around 12 o'clock and then after 12 o'clock we start losing the ground <clears throat> I I still recommend to trade between 8 8 30 12 o'clock you should be done and then you take the, the 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 high point of the market sometimes in the afternoon yes there is movement in the market but if you count how many days in the afternoon it was movement in the market and how many days was not during the year you will find out it's not even worth to be trading in the afternoon and taking the risk because this is a high risk when the market is not moving so this is really uh, something that a trader especially the guy wanna auto trade we're not asking you to be a brilliant trader we're asking you uh, to uh, to be a little bit more reasonable and learn this in your scalper it was done a couple of weeks ago and uh, we did not release it why we didn't release it in order for me to understand after that we did the final version to understand the whole thing and testing the system so before I take that auto trade to the webinar and teach the traders where is the limitation on the uh, auto trade i need two weeks testing it to understand where is the limitation on that auto trade how this auto trade is handling it's not about turn on turn off is how this auto trade handling the market in the chop market in the flat market overnight we have people they are in asia we have people in europe so this guy in Europe, you need to approach him and tell him on his time frame what is the best time frame for him. So even if we are doing our own uh, projects, it takes me two, three weeks because before I can present it to our members so we can give them a right direction how to trade the market. What is the best time frame? I already set out of the testing for the guy don't know what he's doing to put him immediately on five minutes and get rid of him you know uh, for the more advanced uh, trader I want to put him on a two minutes for the guy want to trade the Nasdaq I'll put him on a four minutes all those information does not come in, in an email or in, 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 in a drive all this information comes after you test the auto trade for two three weeks non-stop put in 10 hours a day so when you are presenting this to our members you have the proper question and you have the time frame for every trader whether it's a Nasdaq trader he is in USA is he in California is he in New York is he in England is he in India is he in Australia 
what you gonna give this Australian guy? The same time frame as the guy in California? So what I'm saying is to this guy is just wanted to auto trade. Even if you create your own auto trade, it takes you two, three weeks to present it to your members. So any guy wanna auto trade, whether that auto trade from us or somebody else, you need to understand the limitation on any auto trade, how it is handling the trades in a hard condition. The same thing when we were working around airplanes, we put the airplanes under stress to test the airplanes. And the same thing here, we wanted to see how the auto trade runs under stress, not when the market is running. When the market is running, everything is nice and smooth. But we want to see how this auto trade handling the market under stress. This is the key uh, in the auto trade. So for this guy sending us, we get a lot of emails. Uh, can I try your uh, uh, free for one week? We do not send a, a free trial. And uh, we, we receive 30, 40 emails a day. Because that guy, you need to train him for two, three weeks. And a guy asking for a free trial on on, a, on an auto trade, he's going to rack it. He's just want to turn it on and look at the numbers. He don't want to understand how it works. And I'm not willing to sit down with a guy. Maybe he don't have even $500 on his account and give him a free ride for one week, put up with him. And probably he don't have money to eat. So... There is no such a thing as uh, a one-week free trial because uh, you're not going to do anything with it. If it takes me two weeks before I can present it, and I know everything about this. I know every code about this auto trade. I know in and out about this auto trade. We've been working on it for many months. And tons of money cost in development. It takes me two, three weeks before I can present it to my traders with the right proper setting and a proper time frame. So that guy, when is asking for one week free trial, does mean he has no clue about the market. If he thinks he can keep any auto trade from us or anybody else up and running and be profitable in one week, he must be a dreamer because it takes him, I know this market, I can trade this market without any indicator on any chart. If you give me any auto trade, I cannot go live with it, at least for 30 days. Any auto trade. So on this one here, we've been working on it for over four months. And this is the last final test so we can present this to our members. So how come this guy can take any auto trade? And here's the point. He want to just turn it on and not understand the ES require a different stop loss than the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ require a different stop loss from the YM. Russell, as an example, the DAX, uh, have a different time frame on the DAX. And probably he don't know anything about that either, you know. And um, as we see here, on the DAX, on the five minutes, 1,372. But on the two minutes, we got 6,298. And this is not the first day this is the third or the fourth day I've seen the two minutes go above 5,000 euro. So what it's telling me, the DAX on the two minutes on that auto trade is working better than the five minutes on the same auto trade. That requires time to find out. And optimization, it helps you find the, the, the setup. But optimization, all of you, have tested optimization, get a beautiful profit factor, you put it to work, it does not show near what you ruined your weekend optimizing an auto trade. We all have experienced that. 
So the only time we can test an auto trade by letting it run 24 seven or running it uh, different test, different timing, globex, European time, any US time in order for us to understand any auto trade. And the only time you can understand any auto trade, not using a rank or bar is a myth, not using a tick chart, not using a range. The only time you will understand the auto trade is when you are using the minutes. That's why you don't see that many people using one minute on an auto trade to cover their traps, to cover the mistakes on that auto trade because their auto trade will not work on minutes. So they refuge to different type of uh, frame and they, they try to cover up the weakness of that auto trade because any indicator, any auto trade will reveal the consistency in that system only in minutes for one reason I don't have to explain that much for one reason if you look at ninja trader chart is in minutes that is the end of the line you can argue with me as much as you want we have a rank bar we have everything we have the, the the tick chart we have everything but the only time you can test an auto trade or an indicator even if this guy providing it with rank bar He's providing it with a rank bar to cover his traps. The only time you can reveal an indicator is on the minutes. And that, after 28 years of trading, I know what works and what is not. And if you are comparing with those big guys, believe me or not, those big guys, they're not using your ninja trader, neither your rank bar. They're looking at 15 minutes and 30 minutes a chart. And you come in with a lack of experience and you want to whack the market with a Ranko bar. Doesn't matter where this Ranko bar, I don't care even if it's my own Ranko bar, the BBT Ranko bar, you're not going to go anywhere with it. Ranko bars are good for reversals only, but not to. You can auto trade on a Ranko bar and we will show you can auto trade on a Ranko bar with this and probably will do a good job. But what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to let the trader learn consistency, be more realistic, one or two contracts on an auto trade, start around eight, nine o'clock, done by 11 or 12 o'clock, and don't look in the afternoon and make our trades realistic and our target realistic. If you wanna use four contracts micro account, very good. If you want to use two contracts and spray out your trades to CL, to ES, micro account, NASDAQ, micro account, YM, and spray them out, it is a very good education on a micro account. At least you're not going to go and hit the wall on the first day. So we're trying here to make it as realistic as it could be and uh, as friendly as it could be and uh, does not require any optimization. In a way, also, we did it. If you don't want to deal with um, a stop loss, you can put it on zero, and the auto trade will take uh, care of itself, and you just turn it on and off. Still does not mean you should close your eye to the market. You should still have to look at the market and make sure whatever time frame you are using your auto trade is not in trouble. Not my auto trade, any auto trade I'm talking. So guys, uh, this video took much longer than what I was expecting, but it is in me to teach the guy the realistic things about auto trading. It doesn't have to be uh, slick and um, just a sell pitch. Also, it is very important for that person to understand Auto trades are wonderful, uh, but also you need to work with it. We have to use a little brain like mine, whatever left in there, a little knowledge, a little bit more realistic uh, that a, a target is a realistic target a day. 
how much you can risk a day you need to this is between you and yourself and whether you have five thousand dollar account or a hundred thousand dollar account i strongly advise anyone on new year eve after new year eve to start with a micro account you learn how to manage any auto trade whether you are using ours or somebody else so the the question is uh, we get most of it how much money I need to have how much experience you have if you don't have that much experience and you have a hundred thousand you're gonna waste it if you have five thousand dollar and you have an experience you can go very long way with it so it's not how much money you have is how much experience you have so the best things to do start with a micro account whether you have two thousand dollar five thousand dollar a hundred thousand dollar start with two micro account es two micro account nasdaq two micro account ym and then hit the wall with it is fine because then you're not um, uh, hurting your account and this way also when you are going live you're gonna be learning on on your way learning any auto trade <clears throat> you know <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> you know i mean <clears throat> after 11 years 12 years now in the in the uh, dealing with people training people uh, every time i make a video i wind up teaching and it's become part of my life teaching uh not not a salesman as much as teaching and uh, and today I just want to show the auto trade and then I wind up with 45 minutes video uh, please be safe f for you and your family and uh, we will keep you updated I want to say thank you very much and God bless every one of you bye for now